Welcome to Water OpCert Schools Distribution System Operator Exam Preparation Series for Grades 1 and 2. All right, but we're not always solving for flow rates. A lot of times we're given a flow rate like we have uh, one of the first things mentioned in problem number 38, 100 gallon per minute pump. And they're asking us to calculate an amount of time. All the answers are given in minutes. Okay, well, how long or what is the amount of time a 100 gallon per minute pump must be operated to flush 340 feet of 12 inch pipeline with, okay, now this is a little different with two volumes of water. So we're going to flush it through completely twice. So this is a setup that again, we can use the pie chart for. So volume on top, and then on the bottom, flow and time. In this case, we are solving for time. So it is going to be calculated as volume over flow. So we can go ahead and set up the formula, time in minutes is what we get when we take a volume of water in gallons and divide by a flow rate in gallons per minute. Well, we do know the flow, 100 gallons a minute, but what we don't know again in this case is the volume amount that is gonna be required to flush this line through twice. So this is what we have to find first before we can do the time calculation. So once again, we're gonna start with a volume process in gallons for our, oh, pipeline in this case. So 0 0.785 times the diameter in this situation, 12 inches. Of course, we'll convert exactly into one foot. You have to have it in feet, so one foot squared times the length of the line, which is 340 feet here, and times 7.48 gallons per cubic foot. But we're not just running the water through once, we're running it through twice. So I'm just going to multiply this all as well by two. All right, so 0.785 times one foot squared, doesn't change anything, times 340 and times 7.48 to flush it through one time, it would take a little under 2000 gallons. We're doing it twice, so I'm multiplying that times two. So it looks like 3,993 gallons total to flush it through twice. So now we have that number as well as the flow rate of 100 gallons per minute. So we can set up the time calculation in minutes. So we do the volume, 3,993 gallons divided by the flow of 100 gallons per minute. So divide that 3,993 number by 100, and we end up with 39.9 minutes. And so we'll go with answer C, run the pump for 40 minutes, and that should flush it through twice. Going on to number 36, which also has gallons per minute answers it says crew needs to pump 500 cubic feet of water out of a trench in two and a half hours what is the smallest size pump so very similar terminology here what is the smallest size pump that will do the job but this one we're going to do a little differently because uh, we have two different conversions to uh, perform this in this case. So still to calculate our flow in gallons per minute means gallons divided by minutes. So we get a volume in gallons that we're gonna divide by a flow 
excuse me, a time in minutes. So our volume, this example, number 36, is given as 500 cubic feet of water, which we're going to have to convert into gallons by multiplying by 7.48 gallons per cubic foot. So we take that 500 cubic feet of water times 7.48 to get that number in gallons. And similar to the last example, we have our time period that uh, they're wanting to have this done within, given in hours. So we're going to still multiply that number times the 60 minutes per hour. All right, so let's go ahead and figure out how many gallons, how many minutes, 500 times 7.48 comes out to 3,740 gallons. So we have to pump a total of 3,740 gallons out of this trench in two and a half hours. So 2.5 times 60, which comes out as 150 minutes. All right, so if we need to pump out 3,740 gallons in 150 minutes, we need a pump that's going to give us at least 24.93 gallons per minute. And that makes answer A the best choice.